There are so many different types of fly fishing packs out there these days that it can be a difficult decision as to which type of pack to purchase. If you would have gone back 30 years ago, you would have had one option and that would have been just your standard fly fishing vest and maybe something like this, a chest box. What was really popular then, then was the Richardson chest boxes. Today, you have so many different options. Anything ranging from that original vest with the chest box all the way to chest packs, hip packs, sling packs, and basically everything in between. The purpose of this video is to give our thoughts on each of the different packs that are available out there today, the pluses and minuses on each one, help you make an educated decision on what type of pack will be the best for you. We're gonna base this evaluation on three criteria. First of which to us is the most important, and that's comfort. If you're out on the stream all day fishing, you're gonna to wanna to be comfortable. You're not gonna to wanna to be aching and having pains at the end of the day based off of the weight of your pack. So comfort's number one. Ergonomics and ease of access is number two. So basically how the pack fits on your body and how you can bring it around to your front or how you can flip it down in order to access your tackle and your gear. So like your flies, tippet, etc. The third criteria being capacity how much you're able to carry with you on the stream. So to start, we're gonna look at the standard fly fishing vest paired with a chest box. This is what I would have started with whenever I first started fly fishing and have fished with this type of a setup for probably 15 years. And it's something that I actually really like. It's not very popular anymore, but uh, as far as comfort, it's pretty comfortable. You have everything kind of on your shoulders, evenly distributed. Now, if you're wearing it all day, these chest boxes can get a little bit heavy, especially if you have uh, one of the nicer varieties like a Richardson, because you have this weighing on your front all day, putting that pressure on your shoulders, and it can get a little bit cumbersome over the course of a day. Uh, these, as far as organization goes, uh, is really nice, especially if you like a compartment fly box. Whenever it comes to ease of access, everything is right in front of you, so it, it's extremely convenient. We give a good marks for that. All you have to do is flip down your fly box, open it up, you have everything in a nice, neat tray right in front of you. And then, as far as the vest goes, you can throw fly boxes in there as well. They're also right in front of you. Now, the one thing, whenever we started using this, we fished only two types of patterns, dry flies and wet flies. And now that we've ex expanded to nymphs, that kind of creates a little bit of an organization issue. You have to put fly boxes in your vest as well, which creates some additional weight. Uh, in regards to the capacity, this might not have the full capacity that many other systems would have. So for that, we give it a little bit lower marks. But overall, a very comfortable system uh, you're able to stay organized extremely well, which is very important whenever you're out on the stream, especially if there's a hatch going on and you need to access certain flies quickly. So overall, it's a very good system. Secondly, and this is kind of what we came to next, and my favorite personally to this date is the chest pack. As far as comfort goes, it's very comfortable. It weighs on both shoulders, so it's evenly distributed across both sides. Uh, if you have a lot of weight in here, it can get a little bit heavier. And, and something to, to keep in mind is there are so many different types of chest packs available on the market today that not all of them are going to sit across your shoulders like this. Some hold on your neck a little bit more, which can be a little bit more uncomfortable, especially if you're wearing it for a long period of time. Access, again, just like the chest box, everything is right in front of you easily able to quickly access that so we give a good marks for that and capacity that's something else that's going to differ across brands with the william joseph and there's a really nice umqua pack out on the market today the capacity of that is pretty good you have both front storage and then something that you might not plan on using or you're putting your you're packing a lunch with you for the day you can easily put that in the back as well so capacity is pretty good but that again can vary across brands so like I said, overall, this is our favorite system. This again is our personal preference and something to take into your consideration. Moving on from there is the sling pack. Now, personally, 
this is Dan and I's least favorite system as far as fly fishing gear goes, although it seems to be one of the most popular and most widely used. As far as comfort goes, I'll show a, a brief demonstration here. I give it the lowest marks because whenever you have all of your gear loaded into the back of this and you're actively fishing, whether you're nymphing and guiding a nymph through some channels or whether you're false casting a dry fly over the course of a day, that can really wear on your casting shoulder and that's where, that's where this pack rests. So as far as comfort goes, we give it the worst marks. Ergonomics, it's pretty good. Everything's out of your way in the front, which is nice. And to access your pack, all you have to do is just simply rotate it to your front and you have a nice workbench here, something to tie on flies, change tip it, uh, make any adjustments that you need to do. And then whenever it comes to capacity, this is probably the best system. You can fit a ton of stuff into one of these sling packs right here. Several fly boxes, a lunch, a water bottle, tippet, basically all the gear that you would need over the course of a day. And again, based on the brand, some have a bigger capacity than others. Thirdly, and I just only recently bought one of these, and that's a hip pack. To start off, as we've been saying, with comfort, this is my favorite. This gets evenly you know, distributed on your center of gravity, which is your hips. And you can fish with this all day in extreme comfort. So for that, we give it the highest marks. There's nothing weighing down on your shoulders. You're able to comfortably cast and hold a rod all day long. As far as access goes, all you have to do is just simply rotate it to your front like so, and you're able to easily work right down in front of you. Now, the difficulty comes whenever you add a net into the system here, because much of the time your net will be tucked back behind you. There's a little slot in here. So if you're bringing it to your front, your net can be in your way. So as far as ergonomics go and ease of access, this would be slightly lower on, on our evaluation scale. And then whenever it comes to the capacity, you can hold a fair amount of things in this. You can hold several fly boxes. We have in here right now a tacky fly box. You can hold a couple of those, a spare spool, uh, a wa water bottles on the sides, your tippet. So we've never really had a, whole, a big issue with not being able to carry what we would like. Uh, now the one thing with this, depending on how deep water that you're fishing in, it's sitting lower on your body. So you do run that risk of your gear getting a little bit wet depending on the water that you're wading. And a lot of the times with us, we like to carry our cameras with us. So for that, that becomes an issue. If I'm carrying any type of electronics, I'm gonna want something that sits a little bit higher on my body. Whether it's a sling pack, a chest pack, or a vest, that seems to be a little bit of a better option. So we've given you all of our thoughts on the different types of packs that are available on the market today for fly fishing. So hopefully you're able to use this information to make a decision on what type of pack that you yourself would like to use. And if you like this video and you've, you found anything helpful or have any other questions, please comment below. We always like to see the comments and we're happy to answer any questions that you might have. Also hit that subscribe button. That really does help us out. Check us out on Instagram as well. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.